Scare Gary. Glad you guys came back for another week. Well, it's getting a little bit warmer in Texas, but still, we're coat weather still, but the sun's out, so it's a, it's a good day. What I want to talk about today is what you should do every time you stop your RV. I mean, every time you're, every time you're going to spend the night, this is what I specifically do. I walk around and I check all these little screws that are around it because the last thing in the world you're going to want is some of these to come out and then all they're being held on to is with the silicone and I have seen pieces like this on the side of the road. I have seen RVs going down in campgrounds that don't have those parts and I mean we've said this how many times this is a 4.0 earthquake going down the road and you don't and it's going to shake so things are going to get loose so i found the best thing to do is get yourself kind of multi-purpose screwdriver and get it with interchangeable tips because you're going to find you got phillips tips you got uh, star tips you got square tips and you get to one that has tips that can be changed out with it it just makes things so much easier because you never know which one you're going to have because there's you know there's many many different types of screws that are on an RV. Now, this doesn't only work for the outside. It also works on the inside because I have had screws that have fallen out and if there's two or three screws on something and part of them fall out, you don't want that shaking to knock the rest of it out. So you need to basically check all the screws. Now, specifically on the outside, you're gonna find a screw from time to time that basically just spins. And unfortunately, this is very thin aluminum and they will become shredded out over time. So the best thing to do at that point is to have yourself what I call, what you can, is called speed nuts. And a speed nut is just a little piece of uh, a nut that's flat. And the other thing you wanna always carry around with you is some extra screws because guess what? When they become loose and they rattle out, so if you need to, you can basically take the screw that's gone, put it on there, see if it threads. If it doesn't thread, then you put this on the back side of it and it basically tightens up on the back side, pulling against the uh, sheet metal and it makes it so that your screw works again. And the last thing in, you need, in the world you need is another loose screw in an RV. According to Mary Lou, there's one big one in our RV and we don't need any more. Basically here you can just reach around and put this on the inside. There's places in your trailer on the wall that you can't do that for. So then you may need to use an expandable, a toggle type screw. There's many, many options to work with on the inside. But no matter what, just don't let yourself have a loose screw. The last thing in the world you want is a loose screw that comes out and causes a problem and costs you a lot of money. Well, I hope this has been informative and I sure hope to see you next time. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Turn on your post notifications. Put the comments down below. Subscribe and you make us happy, right Maggie? Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh.